Barry and welcome to another segment of It Could Be Just Me. Today I want to talk about something that um, is kind of a touchy subject for a lot of people. I want to talk about men who refuse to do anything nice for their girls on Valentine's Day. Okay. Now I understand that uh, brothers, you know, have a lot of different reasons why they don't particularly care to honor or appreciate Valentine's Day. Um, I've heard, you know, it's not really a holiday. I've heard, um, I've heard brothers say that it's a commercialized day uh, for retail stores and flower shops and all that. That it's just kind of a blown up, created, souped up holiday for, you know, to get money from people. You know, I've heard that. And then, um, let me see, what else have I heard? I just heard a, a number of various um, reasons why brothers um, have justified to themselves not acknowledging Valentine's Day. So I want to say this to the brothers. And um, ladies, you can listen. And I ain't trying to hurt nobody. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to start no mess. I just want to. You know, uh, my favorite quote has been all over Facebook. If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or a song, if I can show some brother he's traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. So I don't mean no harm by what I'm about to say. But I mean this from the bottom of my heart, and I mean this for your own good. You know, I got to hurt some people to help them. You know, and, and, but I ain't trying to hurt your feelings. That ain't my goal. I ain't trying to start no mess. But let me say this to the brothers. Man to man. And you know, um, let me put it like this. I know you're saying, well, that's to get to it. But listen, just calm down. Don't just Get your finger away from the, the stop button. Just listen to what I'm trying to say. Um, I couldn't prove what I'm about to say in the court of law. But I, I really believe this firmly. Whatever your justification is, brothers for not acknowledging Valentine's Day to your girl. What it really means is you don't love that woman. All right, I said it. <clears throat> I said it. All right? You know, I, I couldn't prove it in a court of law. I don't know you. I don't know your relationship. But I believe that when a man really loves a woman, there are some things that he does, not because of what it means to him, but he'll do it because of he knows what it means to her. And I don't care how you slice it. I don't care what justification you put on it. I don't care what you done told yourself. Valentine's Day is important to women. In other words, it's important to her. It don't matter what it means to you. Valentine's Day is a day that's important to her. And let me tell you something. You don't even got to spend a whole lot of money. You can buy her a, a $4 card from the store and a $10 box of candy from a brand she ain't never heard of. And you write something from your heart, soul, and spirit inside that card and you give it to her on Valentine's Day, her heart is going to be warmed over. Because what that means is you thought enough of her to find a way to say I love you on the day that the world has set aside to say I love you. And you say, oh, I love her all year round. This is a day that the world has set aside to, to set aside your daily hustle and bustle and pause to say, I love you. Let me tell you something. Valentine's Day is outlawed in some Muslim countries. And they still have created a black market to buy things for Valentine's Day to give to their wives and their girlfriends. I'm telling you, brothers, I don't care what it means to you, to that woman to her girlfriends, to her relatives, to her co-workers. What you do on Valentine's Day represents her. Now, there are some women who will say, well, Valentine's Day don't mean that much to me either. Ladies, I don't mean no harm. You, you've gotten numb to the fact that your man ain't doing nothing for you on Valentine's Day. Now, you can't tell me that if he did something sweet and nice for you for Valentine's Day, that your heart wouldn't be touched. You've just gotten numb. I know so many women who will say they have never had a man do anything nice for them on Valentine's Day. 
I've had women say their husbands have never done anything for them on Valentine's Day. I know brothers that have been married for years say they have never done anything for their wife, no, for their wife on Valentine's Day. Or they haven't done anything in years. That's because your heart has grown cold and you are no longer excited about your relationship. You are no longer excited about that woman. You are no longer excited about that love. And I, I, that don't mean you don't love her, but that means the excitement and the thrill, it's, it's gone. And that's why to you, Valentine's Day means nothing. So brothers, wake up. Wake up and do something nice for your girl on Valentine's Day. Acknowledge the day set aside for love and romance. Even if you don't spend a lot of money, you could do something. You can make her a card from your own hand and write the inside which from your own heart, soul, and spirit. And she will be touched. Somebody wrote a song that said, find 100 ways to tell her that you love her. And it's the little things that make all the difference in the world. Brothers, if you don't snap out of your cold spell and get over yourself and realize what Valentine's Day means to your woman, you're going to find yourself one day singing this song. Lately I toss and turn at night. I hold my pillow very tight. I wake up to find the covers on the floor. I can't go on. Since you've been gone And sometimes I don't know what I'm living for You see, I don't know what he told you about the better life His better cause And how he can treat you better But none of that will keep you warm at night Go search the world You couldn't find a better love a better, better love, 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 love. Who can love you better, yeah? You're going to find yourself singing that song. You might sing it a little better than me, but you're going to be singing that song. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Anyway, wake up. Smell the coffee, brothers, man. Put some fire and excitement back into your relationship, man. Do something sweet, nice, and from the heart for your girl on Valentine's Day, man. It really, really, really makes a difference. Sometimes what we do in a marriage or in a relationship, we do it because of what it means to the other person. That's called sacrifice. That's the love that we ought to have for our wives and our women. The love that Christ had for the church that he gave. He gave himself. He sacrificed. So, you know, I don't know. I don't mean any harm by this. I hope you, you know, didn't take it all to heart like I was being mean or anything. It, I, I'm just being silly and having fun and just trying to get some folk to wake up on Valentine's Day. Brothers, believe me, Valentine's Day is important to your girl. And if it's important to her, it should be important to you. I don't know. It could be just me.